good morning everyone and welcome to the trade talk podcast today if we go through with the global equities then in that chinese markets are doing well uh, chinese stocks are uh, trading higher uh, mainly because of the jump in property companies after more home buying rules were eased the uh, shanghai index is on the track to enter into a strong bull market uh, based on its technical formation and if we go through with the global macros and domestic macros for china then there also the official manufacturing pmi came in stronger than expected iron ore prices are going up and whenever we see rally in chinese market we see specific buying interest and momentum in commodities so accordingly we are seeing some strength in commodities and actually it will help companies like tata steel as well as steel authority Uh, for japan market uh, there we are seeing equal amount of losses nearly 4% down and that is because of uh, fall uh, that is because of consistent uh, strength in japan's yen japan yen was around 146 levels now it is at 142 uh, which is an indication of japan may come out with increasing interest rates so that will actually uh, impact equities and it is happening because of us announced its uh monthly inflation numbers which were uh, softer than expected so that has actually weakened dollar and help japan's yen to do well and other a uh, few currencies broadly we are of the view that markets are finding mixed sentiments geopolitical tensions are still there so based on the uh, overall uh, setup of the market we are of the view that the strategy should be to buy on dips and 26000 26050 is the area where we should look for taking some contra bets of going long with a stop loss at 25900 on a closing basis in case market closes below the levels of 25900 then the chances of hitting 25700 or 25500 would turn bright for short term traders 25900 should be the final stop loss and on the higher side again we can expect 26300 26500 sort of levels for the bank nifty there also we are seeing bullish momentum but on friday it was down we may see further more correction up to maybe 53700 or 53500 Uh, between these levels look for adding some long positions with a stop loss below 53500 on a closing basis on the higher side as we mentioned 54500 54600 are going to act as major resistance and in the best case scenario we may even see the levels of 55000 55200 in the coming week in the current week Uh, for from the commodities we like tata steel we like uh, steel authority uh, based on its technical formation we like vedanta and also we are going to focus on hindalco for um, it companies tcs infosys as well as vipro should be on the watch list and from auto companies we like tata motors that's all from my side uh, with this i'm ending today's call thank you very much for listening me have a great day to all of you